All right, this is going to be my Stam Necromancer build for Science of Athella update 41 real quick. So let's get right into it. So I have 20 points in the health, 44 in stamina. You can mix and match this however you want. I'm running Smoke Bear Haunch, the Serpent, and Vampire Stage 3. I think that's the best bet for this build. Moving along the skills, Dizzy Swing, Blast Bones. This is our flex spot, Mortal Coil. You can put Pierce Armor, Ellie Drain, um, Dead in Pain, anything you want here, really. Um, Boneyard and its morphs. If you like any dot, just Crit Rush if you like want to chase down targets. This really is just the flex spot that you put anything in, but I like Tether, so Tether's there. Rally, Executioner. Colossus. Now, this is also a flex spot. I've just recently started using Colossus, and I'm really liking it, but DB is tried and true. Also, the 2H all either morph is very good. We are running Temporal Guard back bar. Um, we are running Sword and Board on this. You can run Ice Staff. They're interchangeable. There's really no difference. Actually, the Ice Staff can give you magic return, so and proc things from range so it might be a bit better but if you are running sword and board you can run the sword and board alt um, running ice staff I would just recommend keeping undo slotted but um, something you can try if you just want to oh shit button is the support skill barrier and its morphs also when you put in these passives it's a free 10% magic recovery so keep that in mind we are running Spirit Guardian, Vigor, Race Against Time, Summoner's Armor. You can run either more for this, but I just prefer Summoner's and Resistance Flesh. We are an Imperial. You could try Red Guard, Wood Elf, Orc. I've tried most of these things, and I just prefer Imperial. So it's a nice balance of health, stamina, which is, you know, max stats we need some sustain as well and just all around good class choice now make sure you get your alchemy up as well medicinal use is very overlooked passive moving along into the build the actual build and the gear we are running Vade Small this is going to give us a lot of extra damage and a lot of extra burst potential Necro uh, if you don't want to run a dot build, you're going to need to burst people down rather quickly. I went over a lot of builds, and this provides a lot of burst. Trust me, watch my streams. Like, lining this up with Blast Bones, a heavy attack, into like an Execute or your Alt or Dizzy Swing is nasty work. So, keep that in mind. Double Dot Poisons. This is a, also an extra bit of pressure. Um, Necro may struggle to finish people off. This adds a little Execute bonus. So, with this and Executioner, we're getting double Execute bonus, and we're taking advantage of the Necro Dot Passives. We are running Wretched Back Bar, so you run any type of poison you want. I just do the Stam Sustain, Drain Poisons because it gives us back it's a little bit extra needed stamina and takes away their stamina. I mean, you know, what more you ask for? We are running Wretched Vitality. This is going to sustain. This is more so to sustain our Magicka than stamina, but it's a great um, set all around. Gives us a little bit of damage as well, so, and it gives us recoveries on both ends so yeah I would highly recommend it and we're running Balrog this gives us a fuck ton of damage <laughs> even after our all I actually combine it a little trick I do is combine it with uh, the Colossus all which gives minor vulnerability and with Balrog up we're getting a lot of extra pin and weapon damage and they're vulnerable for 17 seconds so it's a great idea and way to finish people off especially tankier targets they don't expect you to all of a sudden from going going from hitting moderately hard to super hard on them they're, they're actually get a little bit shocked so most people see this and they'll get hit by it and they'll think it's over and they'll move out the other two hits or block them and they'll think they're safe but because we have Balrog up and vulnerability on them they're getting hit super hard afterwards and it's a great way to finish the kills also combining them with the double dot poisons, a few executes, and the burst from Blast Bones, and the defile from Blast Bones, and Vatron's Maul, and yeah man, that's why I like this build so much, it actually like, came together for me out of nowhere, it's really good, but, 
magic glyph. This could be any glyph, a triglyph, a stamina glyph, but I don't really need as much stamina, so or health. Um, but I feel like I need magic as the most important resource. Um, Impen shield because night blades are everywhere. We're not running rally and cry. And this is a uh, powered swords because we can get more, you know, healing out of it. Okay, we're running all M pen, and if I'm not, then I haven't had the chance to transmute a piece. But yeah, Balrog is great, man. You get a lot of weapon and spell damage, and a, even when this is not proc, we still hit. Like, check out my recent streams, and you'll see, man. Once I train change to this build, and I literally just put out another build video, but I went back to the drawing board and made this even better. So. Trust me, we hit hard no matter what, but when Balrog is up and we've hitting him with the ultimate, we hit even harder, so yeah. Pariah, now I went back and forth between rallying, I went offensive sets, everything. I just feel like this gives us a lot more time to go offensive. It's part of hitting hard because you can keep up a lot of pressure without having to hurry up and switch back to the um, back bar. And it's just great at all around survivability, especially since you're a necro, everyone's gonna jump on you anyway. So keep this in mind. This is our final set. We are not running a mythic. I did this um and you know you could always like run armor master back bar or rallying cry or whatever you prefer, but I did try those things. And it's it seems like this just suits necro a lot more, you know, you're getting close to death. You're able to survive a lot, you know, you got time to get off all your great heals more more tankiness so more your healing is through from ghost vigor and of course resistance flesh plus this stacks armor as well plus this kind of defiles you although necro passives take care of that a bit um yeah increases your healing done but it's also reduces your healing you know so double-edged sword but Find Pariah to be the best. You don't need a mythic. Trust me, I tried all those builds. I tried everything with Necro. And this is the best performing build I have made so far. Like, literally, man. Just check out the streams. They're there. And, yeah, like I said, all in pen. So we're one, two, three, four, five heavy. This also, we went five heavy. So let me explain. Two medium, five heavy. You can go heavy, medium, light you want. But I prefer five heavy. This isn't for defense or tankiness or anything. This is actually great for sustain. So let me explain. So one thing, we're getting free magic of sustain just for taking damage. We don't even have to micromanage it. So the more they damage us, the more we get. Like coupled with wretched. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's fantastic, man. So free magic sustain is a crazy thing and then we're getting the um right here so we're getting 20 percent more off of the heavy attacks now combine this with off balance and one like great sword not really the dagger so the dagger will be like a great sword normally when you uh, do a heavy attack with off balance and you receive a uh, stamina or whatever if you're using a staff you'll get a lot more magic of back um but like one off balance heavy attack with this bonus up with five heavy and you're basically like recovered a whole stamina bar um i say whole stamina bar but i'm only running 20k stamina so um if you're like running 30k or 40k or something like that no but i'm only running 20 21k so it's really great so heavy armor has other bonuses like healing and max health and things like that but I feel like the sustain passes are fantastic for this, so keep that in mind. Especially like if you go into things like BGs where CP is inactive. Uh, yeah, man, it's really great. So keep these things in mind. I made this build specifically like that for a reason. Like if if you're finding it's not work for, working for you, just you can't really change anything out on here. What you can change out though is. <sighs> All this is weapon damage and spell damage glyphs, but we're running two swift now. I accidentally had two swift. This is actually the jewelry from my damn sort build. I do have wretched in the bank that's infused, but I decided to keep the two swift. Now you might not be in a situation where you need even one swift. You know, you might run celerity or something, or you just don't run around a lot, or you're in group or something like that. And in that case, you can push the damage on this even higher by making everything infused. So if you see my damage output from my streams, you'll see that it can get even better. So 
keep that in mind. You can also do like recovery on these and go with the warrior mundus or lover or something like that and get even more. Like, yeah, it's it's not bad. And keep in mind, which we'll get into in a minute, I usually don't show CP, but I feel like it's needed with this build. So keep in mind this build scales very well with CP. So the higher CP, the better results you're gonna do. And I'm already getting better results. The build video is long, it was gonna incorporate some footage into it, but I'm going to um, end it after this. I guess I'm not going to add footage because uh, we're CP. Okay. So, CP. Uh, green tree is around here, neither here nor there, but I always recommend these two. I mean, you have flex spots, but just recommend these two. Rationer because you want your food to last longer because our TAM broth is hella expensive on PC. And this chance not to use compulsions because they're also expensive. Breakfall, mandatory. I can't say anything else. This doesn't save you from fall damage. I still get upwards of 17 or 20k from falling from short distances, but in the middle of an X, it sometimes kicks in and works wonderfully. Blue Tree. Okay. Since Night Blades are everywhere, I'm running Resilience, and I'm also running Ironclad. You, this, this is the most important CP in the game. It just works on everything versus something like Duelist Rebuff that works on almost everything. Resilience is just great because... I mean, getting your imp sources of imp in is crazy unless you're running Rallying Cry, which is why I don't see why people hate on that set so much. I mean, just stop, bro. You just want to one-shot and two-tap people. There's nothing wrong with Rallying Cry. It is a stacked set, but it's needed in the meta where you have to get your imp pin. You can get 660 from CP and still barely reach 3K. Like, I'm wearing an imp pin shield and everything. I'm trying to push 3K, and I'm at 2869. Like... You need 3300 to even mitigate a crit without having bonuses like Shadow, Nightblade passes, etc. And you can't even do it. So, you know, and this is building into M Pin, and you can't do it. So, no, man. I'm just gonna run the resilience. Shit. Get that in a minute. Almost done. Um, but yeah, I recommend those two defensive and two offensive CP. Uh, this exploiter is going to buff our damage even more. 10% damage. It's like we were still running Essence, so don't worry about it. And Master at Arms. I'm not too sure about this, but it does make me have a lot more damage open world. It helps me push the damage. And, yeah, um, things I would recommend is Duelist Rebuff. And, uh, I don't know where it is, but the uh, Focus Mending, if you do have enough damage. And last but not least, we're running Slippery, um, Survival Instincts. These are all sustains, by the way. Pain's Refuge, Shoe Sustain, two defensive CP. So this actually auto procs off of Slippery, but we want to be a little more tankier. Open worlds, you can swap those out if you need more sustain to sustain by suffering and the like. That's the CP. I got to go ahead and get up out of here. If you have any questions, leave them below. That's the Necro build. And yeah. Much love. Arcanist is next. It's your boy KLG. Ouchie. Peace.